How rude. Fire them. Hey, Trixie! Ugh. We are back. We are, we are slowly back. I, yeah, my internet decided to just crap out. I don't know why it did that. Usually when it does that, I usually can't get back in. But for some reason, it came back. So I have, I don't know. Nah, no worries. No worries, Sammy. Sorry about that, you guys. Sorry about last match. My internet literally, like, everything crashed. Everything crashed. My TV, my laptop, my phone, and even when I took it off the internet, I was just at 800 ping. So, I don't know why it did that, and then I waited a little bit, and it came back randomly. I don't know why, how or why. But it was definitely very weird. Okay. But yeah, let's talk about that inference and truth. Naive skin. Oh no no sorry not not naive. Truth he said truth. Uh, gardeners, lady truth. Inference is uh, naive. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that we're getting Aesop. He was one that I did not think would be in truth and inference but i think he was in um one of the truth and inferences things who <laughs> it's interesting i want to i, I want to see the story for that but i wonder when that's going to come out Yeah, the whole. Oh my god, that's a lot. So, for the next package, though, you guys think it's gonna be Fiona since she was kind of there after Nor like murdered somebody? <laughs> I wonder who he killed. Was it like someone random? And it was, it was, 
interesting because it looked like Fiona was kind of staring in his direction. So I wonder if she like knew or what. I like how they're talking about the wood chain plushie. There's just too much- there's so much going on for ID5 right now. You got Alice coming out, you got that whole story coming out, and who knows how long that's gonna be. Is it gonna be the same length as when Orpheus and Memory came out and Nightmare? They had like three whole different sections for that. Dude, yeah, and then they yeah, had the little shorts that they had. Those were insane. And then the one, the fact that they did two versions, like one that was not censored and then the other one that was censored. And then you literally just like... You literally just watch Arceus beat the crap out of Norton and like beat him to death. That was insane. Looking for reporter footage in the test server. Uh, Exilio might be playing. Um, I think Geisha has a video of it. Geisha Gaming. Interesting though. The fact that I slow vaulted that when I was running, I don't understand how I slow vaulted that. I mean, I probably still would have gotten terror shock, but still, the fact that you see me running and then I'm just like, <laughs> unless that's what the backwards controls does, it's just makes you slow vault instead of fast vault. Who's live right now? Geisha? Or Exilio? Cause I know Exilio said that he was gonna uh, go live with some journalist gameplay. Oh, Geisha Gaming is live too? I got a notification but I wasn't sure if it, she was live. Yeah, apparently get your game is life right now. Oh yeah, she is live. Is she by herself or is she with Weaver? Wait, what's the little switching thing on the side? What does the switching thing do? 
Oh, it's got a cooldown. Oh, well, that, yeah. Figures it has a cooldown. Well, no, I know that her thing is an illusion, but, like, what is the switcheroo thing next to the camera? Ooh. Dude, that speed boost is gonna be so nice, though, when you're- when that illusion gets hit. I just want to know what that thing on the side does. What does it switch it to? I don't know, does it switch the illusion? <laughs> oh, that is Gleeber with her. Let's try to bait the pallet. Yeah. Uh, six, I think? Okay, so you can bait the pallet for the illusion. Really? Yeah, I believe we just did it. He, like, walked- he was, like, in there, walked- like, was there, and then was somehow managed to walk away from it before the illusion slammed it down. And he was like pretty in there, like it looked like that should have hit, but it didn't. It didn't stun. <laughs> I just want to know what the little thing on the side does. What does that switch it to? Meat shield. <laughs> I'm confused on how the dummy works. Illusion, what are we calling child Orpheus? Meat shield? No, apparently it's just called a, an illusion. But yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I guess we just call him Orpheus or Orpheo. Oreo? That's who chain. <laughs> I wish I could do test servers. So she's gonna be good to have with Tide and with uh, Windows. The thing about the illusion, from what I see, the rescuing for him is just like the bot. It rescues so slow. But unlike the bot, where you can move him to try to bait the chair hit, you can't do that with the illusion. He just saves. <laughs> I like how someone's asking if she'd be playable on Duo Hunters. I feel like that's gonna have to be like a wait and see. I can kind of see her. You think she's not going to be there? I wonder how long he stays there for. 
Oh! The illusion only gets like a chip. Oh, he's been using it for quite a while. Can it decode? Or can it decode? Oh, it doesn't fall for that. I just want to see her touch that, that s symbol next to the camera. What is that switch to? I guess they're trying to see what makes him go away. I think that's what they're doing right now. Because now the Weaver asked for Bon- or if they should do Bon Bon. <laughs> this priest is like... good to have because when they hit the illusion hunters don't get presents from him it's not like the bot where if you hit the bot you you gain presents mm -mm. if they hit the illusion you don't gain presents presents so i think that's like the one thing that's good about him about the illusions because it won't it doesn't give hunters that <laughs> yeah it doesn't give it doesn't give uh, hunters uh, presence when they hit the illusion I yeah but I mean if you're if you're running and you use it to like flash it'll follow you from what I from what I've seen it's supposed to follow you so if you run to a uh, pallet and you run by it he'll just sit there so it's either the hunters go around him and go the longer way or they go through and possibly get hit or they hit him to get him to go away so either way i feel like you know like she's definitely a like, containment type like it's to stall you just have to use the the pictures right Probably. The one thing I really want to see is her pressing that one button to change whatever that thing is. Gosh. Stupid stream. Can't believe it's stupid. Not, not my stream, but in the internet. Actually, no, the stream was kind of bad at one point. <laughs> so 
We have memory and illusion. <laughs> So far, I've seen different ah. things about the story where. Mm -hmm. What is it? Because Alita's Manor was the one that, like, posted about it, saying that they think that Melly and Orpheus were in a whole different game. You wanted to talk? Yes, we're talking right now. They were in a whole different yeah, so like it was Orpheus, Alice, Compose, uh, Frederick, and Melly mm -hmm. in one game. And then maybe what, maybe something happened to Alice during that game. And so it like tripped out Orpheus, which made him forget, you know, all the drugs and stuff. And that's why during the scene where it's him, Norton, and Melly, and then you kind of see someone who has like question mark, question mark, question mark, and then you see memory as a child, like in her little child form. Who is memory is apparently supposed to be Alice when she was younger. That doesn't make any sense, bro. Cause apparently, well, from what it looks like, Alice is going to be the identity switch for memory. But that's my thing. He mentioned a child. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the thing too. Like, I don't know if maybe that's supposed to be like the memories or like the the images that he sees is of Alice when they were younger and that's kind of like flashing back into his head so he's remembering how Alice used to be. But it's weird too because the pictures that you see, the mother's hair is long and Alice has her hair up. Exactly. I was literally talking about that. And they even mentioned how when he ran back to the game, he was making an introduction saying that that was his daughter. I think that's what they made us, they made us want to believe, was that that was his daughter, but apparently it's not. And so it's like maybe that is Alice when she was younger and the, and that was her mom that we see. And maybe Orpheus saw something when he was a child and you know it was like traumatizing so it's like Yeah, yeah that sounds like a lot. <laughs> it's like Like it's confusing. So he, he meets Alice. As a child again, but then you meet this other lady with her hair down, and it's not Alice. Who knows? Maybe the, it sounds like there was a lot of mess up stuff. Because if you, I actually redid the story for the Asia account, mm -hmm. and I noticed like when you're chasing after memory, you're hearing all these different voices. And then at one point you hear a little girl's voice and she's like, why don't we tell Bane and Burke? Like Bane and Burke. It's it's crazy because, you know, Burke, it, we knew Burke lived with them and stuff and did these inventions and whatnot. But Bane, there's also a picture. I know Bane lived there. Yeah. Well, I didn't know he knew them. But there was a picture of the three of them, um, Memory, and then her parents, and then there's two forest rangers. I think one of those forest rangers, the male, because there was a male and there was a female. I think the male was Bane. Mm-hmm. Who's the female, though? I don't know. That's, that's the thing. Maybe she could be someone that we're going to see again, maybe? Hopefully Ooh. this... The lady. The lady? She could be the lady. 
You think so? You think she's gonna be the, the lady hunter that we've been hearing about? Probably. I've always thought that the lady was gonna be Alice. No cap, I thought it was the blurt. Oh really? Yeah. I knew it wasn't just based off of um, how they how they were showing Clark, because the lady apparently has her own animations and it's supposed to interact differently with the survivors. So like really? with yeah, she like had her own carry animations. So it was different when she carried a regular survivor versus memory herself. That's her mama. See, that was the thing. That's what I thought too, and that's all. It's like. Well, if that's the case, then is Alice going to have two different, are we going to have two different identity switches? So Alice can turn into memory, but then also turns into the lady? But that's, that's the crazy part of her. Her journal was like blue and stuff. <laughs> For the switch. When you switch to Alice, it like turns blue. So does that mean for the hunter, it'll be normal? Well, I don't know, because I know well. I know it's already blue when you turn into the hunter for, like, Lucino, Smiley, and Orpheus. Let me catch it's up blue on... when they become survivors. I feel like... I really like her default look. They'll, that'll make her as tier really interesting. I wonder what it will be. I wonder if it will be if it will tie into the current story. Hopefully it's not her in that cloak from the Orpheal event. See, people are saying it is just because based on the, her style and then the hair poking out, that has to be Alice. Hmm. Frederick, my baby girl, oh, maybe is Alice, maybe question mark, question mark, question mark, is Alice? Since memory is present in the game. But yeah, but Norton's there. And from the poster with Alice, Frederick is there. What if Frederick was the one to replace Norton? So you think... Well, no, because we were told Melly died that same match as well. And Melly is still alive in uh, with Alice. That's why I'm thinking sure. Alice... But Alice... Comp uh, or, uh, Alice, Orpheo... Orpheo? Orpheus, Melly, and Frederick were the first Wait. game. And then Melly and Orpheus survived. Yeah. Yeah. Which means Composer so was, was the Norton one who died replaced, prior to the game. Replaced start. Frederick. Yeah, so I think Norton replaced Frederick. And then Frederick, oh, yeah. or not Frederick, uh, Norton and Melly ended up dying. Yeah, because it said that it was in the past before the manor was taken down and all that. Mm hmm. Because then it was like, at that time. Well, I guess we'll have to see how Orpheus. If Orpheus is, is in the story a little more. We'll have to see how he is because we know he kind of went psycho mm. during Norton and Melly era. That's because he, he was on drugs. Yeah, but he still ended up turning into Nightmare. So then it's like, what about that whole thing? So like, what? Do, the creature that we see, he has that mask. So does he? Is for us? Is he just wearing that mask as Orpheo? And then because of the drugs. Norton and Melly saw him as the nightmare that we know now? Probably. Poor, poor I feel bad for them both. Yeah. Mm. Which means Composer was the one who died prior to the game starting because most games have a death that occurs first to kick off the game. I wonder if they'll base her S tier on the Orpheus myth from Greek myth and the Elitist events. So from what we know, we do have Orpheus, Eurydice, Car Charon? Charon? Mm hmm. Persephone. Dionysus. And Pluto represented. Oh, yeah, and Dionysus. I always call it Dionysus. The only characters missing from the myth are Dem Demeter and Hermes. I feel like the lady could be perfect. Hermes was there already. Hermes? Oh, that's it? Yeah, Forward has Hermes. I don't think. I don't know. The lady. I don't think the lady could be perfumer because they. She's supposed to apparently have her own animations, unless they change that. Mm -hmm. Since perfumer was working with Luchain during her game, so she has hunter tendencies. No, I mean I know uh, it's Demeter's probably gonna be Alice the lady. in the cloak. I just hope her S tier isn't the cloak. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope it's not that. That would have been horrible. 
because I don't like how it looks. I'm not keeping behind. Who was Dionius in the event? The meter's gonna be the lady, probably. Mm. Who was Dionius? Was, isn't it Professor? <laughs> yeah, Dionysus was Professor. The, so there you go. And Mivok says, Mivok says, oh! <laughs> so it's still, it's still crazy because it's like, yeah, who is that? Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's either... Oh yeah, because we don't know. Unless Alice survived and Frederick was the only one that died. And then so the next game they got, they brought Norton in. I'm still, so apparently we are getting a Norton Hunter. There has been, I saw rumors on my Instagram from other people saying that- They better not have him build like Smiley and the others. They, <laughs> I don't know. But there has been leaks that I've seen about Nor a Norton Hunter. I swear on everything. It's gonna be crazy. I mean, if it's gonna, cause during the, during the, um, during the uh, story or the little animations we do see norton being some kind of like goblin like thing troll like he gonna be built like leo <laughs> right and then melly also had like a hunter like form i would love to see hers honestly i would She's love gonna be one of those fast hunters oh definitely i think i think she's gonna be able to it's Ha um, if you know Dead by Daylight, there's a there's a hunter that they have called the Artist, and she's able to summon like these crow-like heads. And if you get hit by the crow head, you get crows swarming around you, and it reveals your location. So I feel like Melly might have something similar to that. Like maybe she can send her swarm out, and it and like if you get. Here? Yeah, yeah, but instead of just kind of showing your location, I wonder if her bees will kind of like attack you and slow you down. Mm. You know, so they kind of like swarm around you and then your character's kind of like swatting away at them. Ooh, like how they do with wax artists' wax. Yeah, yeah. And then I think you have to like kind of swipe it away for a little, for a little while before it'll like go away, but it slows down your movement because you're trying to, you're running, but you're swiping bugs away from your face at the same time. That sounds so cool. That would be really cool. I think that would be, I, I say that now, but then I know I'm going to freaking hate it <laughs> as a survivor main that I am. Oh no! It's not an ever sleeping match unless someone gets hit by tram. <laughs> this mercenary got hit by tram. <coughs> oh, guess what? No, I just I meant just in the event. Oh, gotcha. Also, I gotta buy the game storyteller. It looks cute. Ooh. What's up? I watched the Mario movie. Did you? Yes. Ah, No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. I did hear that it was cute, though. Mivox watched it, too. He said it was cute, so I'm very excited for whenever I go. I, I, cute is a word, but... You know what, I'm not going to even say it because I'll get jumped by my by my community. <laughs> I'm very excited for the story though. Like we have ten Me more too. days. Ten more days, guys. Like, I'm just wondering, 
I'm just wondering what's gonna happen. Like, I, I just wonder if it's if this is before Norton or if it is after Norton. But then if it's like, if it's after Norton, I wonder who that question mark, question mark, question mark is. Because if that's, if it is after Norton, then it can't be Alice because Alice is alive when Frederick's there. That's why I keep thinking it's uh, after Frederick, I think. But then it's like, okay, so then did Alice survive or did she die? And somebody else is that question mark, question mark, question mark person from the story. Well, then it's, it's weird too, because it's like, if that's the case, then dur during the game, did Orpheus like just completely forget about Alice? I mean, he was the hunter though in that one, so maybe. Oh my God, what if he what if he ended up killing Alice, because the drugs were like taking over, and he ended up killing Alice first because they were together. Dang. <laughs> I'm just making all the big sad. I. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, just think about it. Just think about it. Orpheus forgets. You know, he's he's already having all those problems because of the drugs and stuff we don't know who that question mark question mark question mark is but he's seen alice as a child and alice is leading him Gosh. so it's like okay so did because he had at, at one point during the uh it's, I was actually in the story, during the cutscene like part, we see Orpheus and he ha he's holding the nightmare mask in his hand. He like fainted on the ground and has the nightmare mask in his hand. He was holding the mask and he still oh. There was this human version that they did, and I still didn't get it. It showed this guy as Orpheus and somebody else with a mask. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Because they were introduced in uh, the story. See, I knew Ethel was going to win. Sorry, I'm also watching that. Just watching, just watching OM, I could tell that they weren't going to win. I feel bad, but it was just, it was kind of easy to see. Man, those two just be going through so much. But see, it's interesting too, because it's like, okay, so then what happened to Orpheus? You know, we know he escaped the ma the manor, and then he turns into a detective. So why did he not remember the manor? Because apparently he did this whole police report and stuff. But then as he's older, he goes to that manor and he doesn't really know about it. Didn't they say that anytime somebody escapes their memories wiped? Yeah, but apparently, like, from what I remember in the story, he kind of described that manor. And then I guess the manor was, like, on fire? Or whatever? But they probably set the manor on fire to get rid of all their... Yeah, get rid of all of the evidence. And who is Nightmare? Well, from what we understand, it's Orpheus. But who knows? It could have been somebody completely different. And then Orpheus, maybe, 
maybe what if that person maybe what if the person that was question mark question mark question mark was nightmare the person with the mask and Orpheal somehow defeated him and took that mask and then kind of just became nightmare you mean killing the manor host maybe so. Could be, or it kills the hunter that was part of the game, and then maybe they drugged him or something and made him believe that he was the hunter. Survivors doing as usual. Like there's just there's just so much. I feel like there's just so much possibilities for these stories because it's like okay well we're definitely gonna have to see what happens you know because it's like okay well what happens to alice her view of the manor is totally different from how orpheus viewed the manor which is why the whole thing changes when we get alice like the the main room that we start in is gonna look is gonna be brighter it's gonna look like how it did back then versus how we know it today <laughs> like the main lobby that we first start in before we're able to buy a, a lot a different room where we can only stay as orpheus you know mm -hmm. everything could be made up it could be I mean, it's possible with the the drugs, you know, maybe maybe all the characters he sees, like maybe it's just from Orpheus's mind. Maybe he like lost Alice from a to a sickness or something. Couldn't handle that and then just just yeah, like hallucinations, yeah. Like, he just created this whole thing with his mind. It, it kind of makes me think of the Rugrats theory, where all the babies were made up by Angelica. And that, like, Tommy had actually died, or, like, and then, like, Chucky doesn't actually exist, or something like that. It was, like, a really dark... Yeah, like, the really dark theory. No, I think Tommy was supposed to be like a stillborn or something. I don't remember. That's so sad. Uh oh. I gotta go to sleep. Not allowed. Okay. <laughs> Well, you too. Thanks go for to chatting sleep. with us. I know I should go to sleep, but I'm like I'm so interested in the this story now and hearing everybody's thoughts. The Pixar theory is the craziest one you've heard. What is that one? Night night, little. <laughs> night night. Oh, look at those pictures. I'm very excited though. I can't wait for the story. How many of y'all are actually gonna read the story? I know me and Mevox will. I think Whittle will as well. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I know there was this one theory 
where the kid that the Monster Inc. people were talking about was actually Jack-Jack from The Incredibles. I don't know. I don't- I can't really see Joseph being in it. It'd be crazy if Fred Frederick got an A-tier skin before Antiquarian. Oh, true. I mean... Yeah, I could see that. I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We should be knowing the theme by this week or next week. Yeah, well, there's 10 days left. So probably by this week, maybe. I mean, she's in the test servers now. If we wait one more hour, usually Identity 5 will post something around 2 o'clock. Uh, I might stay up that late. Maybe I will wait until two. Not here though. I might. I might stop stream soon. And human, 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 human Lucio. <laughs> human Lucio. That'd be crazy. But it wouldn't be the first time they do that. Your phone has something on it. Sorry, cleaning my phone. That's why she's moving around so much. What is this launch setting? Hold on. Oh, you can do fireworks? How do I select the fireworks? Interesting. I didn't think that's what that was. Well, firework furniture. Got it. I don't have any. I cannot wait for the story though. I think by next week or this week. Yeah, this week. It has to be this week. This week we'll be getting the poster. We might get the poster today, to be honest. We might get it today. Or tonight. Um, give me a second. You know what? I'll check Instagram right now. Give me a second. I'm talking. Don't worry, Sammy. Thanks for joining. Guys, what did... Sure about. 
They released the video, but I don't think they've said when you can buy the, uh... Rex they haven't said when you could buy the... Damn, that's freaking gorgeous. Sorry. Tails! I'm not seeing anything by ID5 yet, but we might get something today. I will keep an eye out, um, check back on my Discord, and if I do, if anything does show up, I will post it to my YouTube as well as a post. I like how the chair was just empty. Not that I saw. It could be. I know Ashes of Memory comes out April 20th as well. Comes out the same time that Alice comes out, I think. I just know that Ashes of Memory is supposed to be in April. So maybe Shi Yi will actually be part of Alice's essence. We'll have to wait and see. But I, I, I have a gut feeling that we might get something this week. Either today or... To or maybe tomorrow. I like how we we're gonna just have a small talk and it literally is like an hour later. He could be, just because he's part of the poster. But then it's like, are they going to choose between Melly? Well, Melly already got one. That's the thing, too. It's like... So are they just going to choose someone random, maybe? Oh, GW versus GG. I'm kind of hoping GG wins. I like GG. Could be. They're gonna make us suffer and wait. Alright, but I should go to bed. You guys should be going to bed. Unless it's still kind of early for you. For those that are late. That, are, that, that, that time is late. You should be going to bed. Yeah, they usually do that. I don't think... I think it's been a while since they've done like an all-survivor thing. They usually do one hunter. And it could be Joseph. Which will be a, still be a very interesting pick. Because I feel like they would just pick Joseph just because he uses cameras. Or maybe he matches the theme. Ripper wouldn't be too bad. I feel like it's been a while since he's gotten A tier. I mean, who knows? Maybe it, 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 it will be Clark. What if it? What if it's Anne? Was a beard B tier? That is true. Yeah. But they've made us wait so long for certain characters to get like an A tier skin. Well, if anything shows up tonight or in the morning, Dark will probably most likely share it in the morning. Because he wakes up before me, so he'll see it way before me. Unless I stay up until 2 and see it by then. Yeah, exactly. It would be nice to have Dancer have another A tier. It took her forever just to get a like a permanent A tier. All of her A tiers have been like limited. 
And Violet Blossom only came back when COA was starting. I haven't seen anybody get too mad about that skin anymore, but who knows? It could just be like the one time that you choose to play that skin and you just get that one hunter that's like, Oh my god. Or those teammates that are like, Oh my god. Ouch. My hair feels weird. Owie. Ow. I hate my hair sometimes. Ugh. It's so annoying. Okay. I should get going, though. As much as I would love to keep talking, I am slowly gonna fall asleep on stream. <laughs> and then I don't know how you guys are gonna wake me up. But if I say anything, most likely Dark will share it. If not, I will share it. Thank you for playing with me. I can't wait to go back through my stream and record some of these matches because they were in... They were crazy. And I got to hear Coco's voice. I'll turn off these headphones because I had to get my headphones just so... Because Cass was like, Coco's talking. And I was like, what? So I had to go rush and go get my headphones. Oh, and I'm probably gonna start scheduling my videos to post two videos in one week. So I think I'm gonna do Tuesday and Fridays since Cass is doing Friday and Mondays. So I think we can both share Fridays and then she ha will have Mondays and I will have Tuesdays. My doggy is so cute. She's taking selfies for me. But yeah, I'm gonna start posting two videos two videos um each week hopefully if i can try i'll do my best to keep up with that good night though good night hope you guys all had a nice easter even though it's not easter anymore still i'll talk to you later Thank you for joining. I might stream tomorrow. Not sure what I will stream, but maybe. It's it's a maybe. Anyways, good night. Gonna end the stream. Three, two, one. <laughs>